Why hello there people from the internet, how are you doing? And we're back with some Just Cause 3 and today we're looking at some easter eggs available in the game. And we'll start off with none other than the Mile High Club. Now this is from Just Cause 2 and uh, even though this is a couple of years, uh, the events in Just Cause 3 happen a couple of years after Just Cause 2, it does look like this has been here quite a while and there's actually a lot more of the Mile High Club wreck underwater so you can explore that yourself and find out more about what happened to the Maya High Club. Why is it not floating in the air anymore and nobody be partying out there? <laughs> and this is uh, another clue for the next Easter egg that we're going to be looking at. It's DJ Santosi and she's in Alba somewhere. Now, Bolo Santosi was the leader of the Reavers back in Just Cause 2 and apparently she got into a different game, into DJing, because maybe that's more money into it. And there's also a little bull here with blue horns that you can sort of ride around a little bit and have a bit of fun with. Now if we go to Alba and we check out what's going on there and DJ Santosi, where can we find her? Uh, you will be able to find it right there. Now if you go here in the daytime, there's nothing really going on. So you kind of have to go here in the middle of the night. I've actually tried going here in the evening and there's nothing really going on. But at night, things get interesting. <laughs> Now the next easter egg, it's right here, you can see it on uh, the map there across the Sud. And it's going to be the snowman. Yes, we've met the snowman back again. And there's actually a little bit of a conversation between Rico and the snowman. So, we meet again, Mr. Snowman. And there's actually a vintage part right behind the snowman. You can shoot the snowman, you can blow him up, you can do whatever you want. It's not going to do anything to him. Ah, it's going to make him valuable. messy a little bit, but then he'll be back to normal. Now the next one that we're looking at is the soap box car. You can actually get an achievement for this and you can find this in different locations as well. Uh, I found it, the first one I found was over here in this region and you can just, uh, it doesn't have an engine so you'll have to sort of just pull it down a little bit or just get inside and try and get it back on the road and then just use gravity to go as far as you can in this and you will unlock uh, an, uh, an achievement for it as well. And you can also find it in here as soon as you enter the base, just check your left side in Sima Leon or whatever this is called. And uh, it's going to be right on the left side. And you can actually go for about 5 kilometers in this from this location. So the next one we're looking for is going to be the rubber ducks. There's actually some ducks in the jet skis that just sort of beached over here. And you can just uh, drag them in the water. You can pick them up with a chopper and take them to whatever river or ocean you like or lake. But you can just drag them in the water and then you can start using them and I suspect once the modding and everything is done and people be able to join each other in the multiplayer, it's going to be pretty sweet you and your buddy riding rubber ducks against each other. The next cool little easter egg that we're looking at is going to be the bonfire easter egg, the Dark Souls one. You can actually light that up by approaching and just press E. And it does actually make a little sound. Now, if I remember this correctly, I think this is was I think this was how you saved your games back in Dark Souls with a bonfire. And most of these uh, Easter eggs, you can't really do anything with them, as it were. They're just static objects, so you can try and blow them up and shoot them and do whatever. They're not actually going to do anything. But if you approach it, it does make that cool little sound that it did back in Dark Souls. Now the next one we're looking at is going to be again back on the north. It's handy for you to go ahead and just sort of go all the way up north with a plane and try and liberate a couple of things so you can uh, you can just fast travel to the map. That's going to help you a lot in your campaign. And we'll find here a giant hammer. Now I think this is Mjolnir. I really do think this is Thor's hammer. Again, it's a static object. You can't really move it or anything. I'm sort of wondering when it rains, if you make it up here, is there a lightning storm or something? I haven't tried that out yet. The next one we're looking at is going to be the Stargate uh, Easter Egg. In this one, if you can find this one right there on the map, 
once you approach it, there's a series of buttons that you have to press. Now, once you got the right sequence, and they're going to be in the description, all the buttons you're looking for. Once you got the right sequence, it'll teleport you across the map. So if you don't feel like driving or flying for 15, 20 kilometers, whatever the distance is, then you can just come back here, get the right sequence in order, and it will teleport you there pretty fast. Now once you go back up there then you can come back by using the same sequence or you can travel in a different direction by using a different sequence. It's a quick way again around the map and it's a quick way for you to get north early on in the campaign. Everything, all the sequences and all the numbers are going to be linked in the description so check that out if you want to get yourself north really fast. Now I'm sure most of you do remember old Dodge, much wow, such a maze, much explosion, yep that's him. You can actually uh, trigger a Dodge mode in this game. You come to this location here and you'll find a little puppy. Now all you have to do is you get close enough to the puppy, the puppy will start following you across the road, make sure he doesn't get run over by a car or anything. And it's just a little house for him there, once he gets into that kennel there, you'll see it right in front of me there. Once he gets into that, you will have unlocked a new game mode for this, and it's called Dodge Mode. And what does that do? Well, every time you shoot somebody in Dodge Mode, you will get a message on the screen. Uh, more or less, it's Dodge telling you what you've done. So it, when you're shooting somebody in the leg, is much leg, much hurt, much wow, or something like that. But it's pretty cool, and some people are going to enjoy it. It's a fun little Easter egg. There's not just a static sort of object that you just see for... Uh, 30 seconds and then you move on and all you have to do to activate it is go ahead and just press escape not tab escape go to your options go to gameplay and dodge and just turn that on and then just go ahead and start blasting people in the face and you'll see some messages oh that looked bad Another cool easter egg that you can have a bit of fun with rather than just being a static object is going to be found right here. Now this is a set of pistols that you can use on people, on enemies, on cows, on sheep, on deer. You can use it on pretty much everything. And what they'll do is they'll swell their heads up like balloons and they will fly into space. You can actually zap onto him as well. You can grapple onto him and he'll take you literally into space. Oh, well, geez, about three kilometers up and at three kilometers, that's when you hit the ceiling and it's going to push you back down. So all you have to do, it doesn't actually hurt anybody. You can shoot uh, the AIs, you can shoot the enemies. Nobody's going to shoot back at you or anything. And you can just go ahead and grapple onto him once he's high enough and he will take you all the way up into space. Well, like I said, it's only going to take you three kilometers up. But if you jump from that distance, you can pretty much cover most of the map just by gliding to it. If you've been seeing a lot of Final Fantasy VII sort of videos and trailers and a bit of gameplay and you're pretty excited for the game eventually coming out, I still feel that it's not going to come out till 2017, which is going to be the 20 year anniversary. I still have the original box set of discs for the PlayStation 1. You can actually find Cloud's Buster Sword stuck on the side of the mountain here again it's a static object not really much you can do with it it's still cool to see it in a different game than just final fantasy 7. now you may remember this or you might remember arguing with your friends about it or what color did i see this is the different dress color whatever it was called and if you uh, get up here there's going to be this uh, sort of round building You'll see two women wearing two different dresses. Now, it's going to be up to you to see what colors you see. Personally, I see sort of black and blue on the first one. And on the second one, I do see uh, gold and light blue. But it's going to be different for different people. I don't know how it works. It just does.
I suspect there's gonna be a few arguments. Uh, no, it's red and white. It's blue and green. But if you just jump off that balcony and you just go ahead and follow the main footpath to your right, you'll find another Easter egg. Now, for those of you that are still thinking of buying this game, there's going to be a link in the description to my G2A page. It's only $30. It's going to be fairly cheap, and you're going to get a ton, a ton of gameplay out of it. And uh, this last one, it's Bolo's Banana Congelata. So it's Bolo's Frozen Bananas. Bolo looks like she's into DJing. She's into frozen yogurts and frozen bananas you know she's done well since the leader of the uh, reavers so not too bad there's not much you can do to the ai inside but you can blow up the stand and you're going to be uh, seeing a bit of money just it's going to be raining money so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video if you found something different than i did go ahead and post a comment let me know some of the cool easter eggs you've discovered if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up post a comment and i'll see you in the next one